Okay, so we need to add connectors to our design. We're going to go with the USB type A connector first. I'm going to right click and copy that manufacturer part information, then go into the manufacturer part search. And let's see if we'll get lucky. Usually when it comes to connectors, you're not going to get the, the footprints or 3D models just like that, right? And this is exactly the case in point here. So what I have to do is click on this manufacturer part number. It will take me to Octopart. Then I can use Octopart to find some, maybe some 3D CAD models, data sheets and whatnot. And let's see if I can get this. Ah, so the 3D CAD model are available. We have component search engine, Snap EDA. Let's see here. I'm going to sign in with Google, preview from component search engine and then choose download. Okay, so when I click on the link to download it and I hit download, it takes me to a web page. I'm a member on this website already. So if you're not a member, you need to you need to uh, sign up for the free membership. Once you do that, you'll get your download or the lib the library file. OK, so for those of you who have used this website back in the day, this actually used to be run by some Axis, and it might still be. But now it's uh, now you've got the octo part part of this. And then we have a PDF that explains how to use the models. OK, the library folder, downloading the zip file and so on and so forth. See how it still says some maxes here at the bottom. Here we have the Altium version. And look at that. It has the PCB library and the schematic library there already and a readme file. You can install this thing called the Altium library loader that has it's this extension that you can add to your your Altium software and has the installation and everything and so on and so forth. Um, the easy way is just to kind of use the import the schematic and PCB library manually by just opening them. OK, so I'm going to go to my downloads folder, grab these to open them up. Schematic symbol, PCB footprint looking good. And yeah, Navigator, I don't need. And if I click on my PCB uh, option here, we can see that. Then if I look at this in 3D view, three key, I don't have a I don't have a 3D model. So I would go to place 3D body, get the step model hit open. It gets attached to my cursor and I place it and right click and choose done. Now, if I hit the three key, then this shows my this shows my um, connector model. The next step is to align this connector. But how what's the best way to do that? Well, a quick and easy way would be to just Go to tools, 3D body placement, a line face with board, select the 3D model, and then choose the face like it shows on the bottom of the screen here. Right. And the face you'd want to choose if I were to zoom in would probably be probably be this face. Then I could rotate this by going into properties and then rotating this by along the Z axis by 90 degrees, right? And then what I could do is flip over the view, go to view, 3D view control, look at the bottom side, and then just kind of eyeball it. That's the quick and dirty way. The better way is to make points about the vertex here. So let me show you that. So what you do is go to tools, 3D body placement, and then you can add snap points from vertices. And what it says, pick the step model to add snap points to. So you pick the step model, place the vertex where the snap point will be added. So we want that snap point. We want this snap point and this snap point and that snap point. You right click, choose done. What we can then do is go to your panel properties and look for snap points. OK, so I went into 2D mode and you can go back into 3D mode and choose to enable 3D body snap points. And that would make that visible should make the snap point visible. I can go into 2D mode and then once I pick up and select from here, see I have two snap points, the center snap point and the snap point for um, pin number one. Now what I could do is zoom in and drop it there on pin number one. Now, if I go back into 3D mode, see how that the center of this pin is perfectly aligned within the center of this pin number one, hole number one. Now, if I go to view and make this top side, this is fit pretty well on to the PCB. Or if I hold down the shift key and then the right mouse button, I can zoom in here and then see how much of the, you know, if there's any like uh, any part of the USB connector that's going through the copper pads, which there is not because 
because we aligned the, the face, the appropriate surface with the top of the PCB. Okay, so that's how we add the 3D model. Let's finish this by saving that, saving this 3D, this PCB footprint, going to the schematic symbol, making sure that everything we need for the schematic symbol works. Okay. You can even hit like a right click and refresh the preview and see that 3D model gets added there in the preview. I'll save this. Now we can add these uh, libraries to our, our own Altium workspace. So let's go back into project. We're back in manufacturer part search. You can save this to our workspace and this would be a connector. You can look at board mounting option, body depth, contact gender, very important. Mounting style is important. Number of rows can be pretty useful. Number of connectors and contacts, those are important as well. Even the pattern, okay? So now go ahead and click okay. And why are all those important? It's important because when you're dealing with connectors, you're dealing with connecting things in a system and knowing that interconnectivity is extremely important. So if I were to go on a wizard here, uh, I could create the connector. Uh, but instead I want to I want to import or add uh these these libraries here. So what I'm gonna do is go to my project panel, then right click and import this library. It's called GSB31. Oh, and actually before I do that, let's take let's take note of the footprint names and the and the part name. There's GSB3111. Okay, great. And then the PCB library footprint name is GSB. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go back into my project folder, import the library, the PCB library import. This will import it into my workspace of library foot, like my workspace that has my footprints. And then I will import this schematic symbol from within this library. It's under components, categorized, well, uncategorized symbols. So to go into the symbols folder. So now that's what we've got. What I could do is edit, modify this locally and then import it. It's you know it's up to you but now that i've imported them i don't i don't need these anymore they're, now that they're imported i can go click on a drop down choose existing change my settings to load all pages you definitely want to do that and the footprints okay so when we click on symbols here and sch only the schematic symbols show which makes sense because that's where we're adding and then we got the gsb here click okay and that gets added then you want to add the footprint you click on a drop down existing we'll go into the footprints library that gets loaded sort by name and again make sure your gear is set to load all pages because if you don't do that it'll start re recycling uh, existing names and and whatnot or the latest name so we're looking for that gsb here we go and you have life cycle children where used origin i mean it's super convenient we're used right what life cycle is it in and so on and so forth. all right so we're gonna go ahead click ok and uh, that's that right there the next thing is you know they have we have data sheets we have component choices you can rate the best component choice and then let's add a name for this okay that's a detailed description okay i went on digikey to look for a generic description and then you can add the detailed description later in here so we'll just go with pasting that name paste that name in there and there you go i'm gonna save this part and close it new usb type a connector right click ok and there you go now we have remnants left over this is the local pcb footprint library but the connector has been released so if you go into components and then search for it it is easy to find you just copy paste that name and you are good to go okay thanks so much for watching this video now you know how to add a connector how to add a schematic symbol from a third-party library how to use octopart to find your cad models how to import a PCB footprint and also map a 3D model for the footprint the right way, especially for connectors, and then put all that inside of your Altium 365 workspace.